Here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three map Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height, but the same reach. And now, for the official introduction, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable UFC Bruce Buffer. Welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 161 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Bowler. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Right, so here we go with round one. And on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter. Yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me. I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado. I know he has a big ego. But it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. That strike will count. can finish. Oh! Just misses with the straight right. Wow, what a kick! Unable to connect with the right hand there. What a punch. That combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Overhand to the head is true. Great technique there. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Well timed knee to the body. Continues to mix it up going to the head, mixing in some body shots. That one's the kid. Nice strike. He loaded up.
up there on that high kick. Oh, straight right. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Stretch that leg kick. Big head kick land. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is gonna need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he... Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big knee to the body. And they separate. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Lee. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. That punch no good. Punch there by Lee. Beautiful body kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Left hand punch to the clinch. Ooh. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Try to establish that jab. Damaging knee to the head. Oh, 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 the this fight's gonna be over. Here, what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Real sneaky body kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Liver kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Beautiful body kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Look at the good action that comes from him throwing that oh, kick. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw it. Oh, and there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to work very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. 90 seconds and counting to go in the fight. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Just missed on that spinning attack. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight he would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored the contest 928. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision.